Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on various Telegram channels. Please check the description to know more about the channels. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof of the small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. I was fortunate to be at an unwrapping of a Paracas mummy bundle in Peru 2012. She had red hair, her skull was 24 inches from chin to fontanella, no sagittal suture, her left tibia was 31 inches from ankle to knee, her left hand was double articulated, able to make a fist in both directions. About 9 feet tall female, young, her pubic symphysis had not yet sutured, so under 25 year old. Same year skeletal remains were found at Marco Wasi, in a crevasse, 72 individuals, when bones laid out in anatomical order, the skeletons were between 31 to 35 feet tall. Machu Picchu has three stairwells, and a doorway proportioned to the size of these 35 feet people, later, Paracas and Inca cultures filled in extra steps between the original run and rise of the stairs. The main gallery that extends the greatest distance at the site, has a 51-inch rise and 51-inch run to the underlying staircase. The primary entry to the site, has a doorway jam with signs of hinges and latch the opening, is 35 feet tall by 8 feet wide. Leading up to the hitching post of the sun, there's a temple structure called the Temple of the Priestesses, that is constructed with a single stone roof, 65 feet by 80 feet, with 6 to 7 feet diameter stone balls on each end, supporting the lean-to-like structure. There is polygonal masonry typical for Paracas and stacked stone typical of Inca added as later constructions. This area is very seldom photographed, as it accessed through a very narrow sheer cliff pathway, only about 8 feet wide. When standing on the altar, you can clearly hear people and the sound of the water 8,000 feet below. All throughout the Sacred Valley, there is extremely advanced water systems using pressure siphons and aqueducts to move water for miles. The Urubamba River, in my opinion, is an artificial structure in many places, constructed with cut stone blocks, 10 feet length, 50 feet width, 50 feet height. The sides of the river banks are reinforced with megalithic construction for the entire 1400 miles. In this photo, you can see the more advanced much much earlier construction on the left, with later well-fit but rough construction, and then Inca construction of base of the bridge, the Spanish construction of the bridge on top, and modern use of the bridge foundations. In my observation, I can clearly see the construction of a water sluice along the river bank, but at such scale, as to be mistaken for 20th century construction. Ranakpur Temple Rajasthan, India. The colossal complex took 65 years to be constructed and was completed in 1496. The temple is a grand white marble structure spread over 48,000 square feet, with 1444 marble pillars, 29 halls, 80 domes and 426 columns. The 1444 marble pillars, carved in exquisite detail, support the temple. The pillars were individually carved, and no two pillars are the same. This art of building has long passed, but at least we can see how advanced people truly were, instead of the simple approach of building the mainstream narrative gives us to that time. You decide. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, Watch to the end to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you.
electricity, and our uses for it seem to be locked into a sort of Groundhog Day. In the past, it seems there were many other methods surrounding the use of electricity and its practicality. Maybe they were trying to relearn the past as we are now. You decide. Antaji Temple Antaji Temple as it looked in 1870. This temple is situated at Dinajpur, Bangladesh. Built in 1750, this temple was one of the finest examples of terracotta architecture. All the nine spires were destroyed in an earthquake in 1897. You guys smell the BS. Somehow all nine spires got destroyed, yet the rest of the building didn't get destroyed. What kind of intelligent earthquake is this? Must have been a Zionist earthquake. Lol. These two maps have a lot of resamplings. This is another truth in plain sight. The map of Game of Thrones resamples the map of Argentine, Antarctica, and the sea between them. Could it be that Game of Thrones is trying to show us the hidden lands that was between Antarctica and Argentina, and the history of what took place there, and the wars they went through? Ister Facility Russia Unfortunately, the Ister Facility has been demolished to permit construction of a shopping center. The facility was last energized in 2014 and had become heavily overgrown with weeds and small trees and was in a marked state of disrepair. All that is left are the images and a few technical papers. Looks a lot like a pagoda don't you guys think? By the way, this is what it could have been in multology. This makes more sense to me. A melted building created this crater, rather than a space meteorite crashing. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.